The challenges of this world are those that require integration, that is, putting the various parts together to answer the whole. We're located in a university who also admires that kind of education. I combine the disciplines of geography and urban planning in my research by taking a spatial approach to understanding the effect of current housing programs on people's lives and understanding how decisions that people are making are affecting our housing markets in spatial ways. I work on food access, food desert projects, where we identify those neighborhoods where access to healthy food is limited and how to address those issues through urban agriculture and farmers market and independent stores to provide healthy food to those neighborhoods. I want my research to reach policymakers, so people who are making decisions about our housing markets at every level of government, so the local, state, federal level. I also want my research to reach people who are coming together to try and change their neighborhoods and change their communities for the better. I hope my research will make an impact on making the world more equitable and more sustainable. In dealing with questions of sustainability and the future of the earth, we are all concerned with what is called the social environmental system. That is the interactions between society and people and the biophysical world. One of the most exciting experiences I've had engaged in research was actually uncovering the physical documentation of how the ancient Maya cultivated agriculture. Until that moment, we were thinking theoretically, we were making all sorts of hypotheses, but we hadn't physically been able to touch, feel, measure what it was. So cutting back the bush and finding the terraces, finding the wetland fields was indeed an exciting experience. The number one issue that I want to solve in my research is to understand how housing can help contribute to make people's lives better off. And what I'm particularly interested in right now is how housing can be a vehicle for improving people's health. And I'm also interested in how housing can be a vehicle for um, improving people's happiness and levels of happiness in our country. The main issue we're tackling with our research is the adverse impacts that heat has on human health in cities. Unfortunately, in our cities today, we have many people who die prematurely from heat exposure or require hospitalization or emergency department visit. And there are many more people who are uncomfortable as they go about their daily lives or might experience symptoms that don't require formal medical care. We're trying to reduce the incidence of all of those adverse outcomes to make our cities healthier and more comfortable places to live. What are housing designs that are associated with living happy lives? You know, things like front porches, windows onto natural and green areas. It's really interesting that shows that just seeing the color green throughout our lives is associated with living a happier life. It will be really beneficial for students to have both geography and urban planning background because geography will provide a lot of methodologies and GIS techniques. Students will need those skills to help solve real world problems. An urban planning background would be really useful for students to work with planners, work with stakeholders and the communities to identify the problem, find the solution to those problems. Answering these questions requires information not only about the physical science, but also the social science and the historical legacy of neighborhoods. And, and only researchers like the ones that our school can produce that have this very broad understanding of how the landscape has evolved both socially and physically, uh, only those researchers are, are really going to be able to tackle these problems in the future. We're facing historic inequalities of wealth, healthcare access, as well as housing affordability. And urban planners and geographers can play a part in helping to solve these issues. And the School of Geographical Sciences and Urban Planning is a great place for people to start to learn the skills that you need to help to solve these crises. The School of Geographical Sciences and Urban Planning is an exciting place to be because Arizona State is an exciting institution. It truly is changing the way we think about how education is reformatted and made for the 21st century, and the School of Geographical Sciences and Urban Planning are right in the middle of it.